Terry Pluto. I'm here with Bill Livingston, and we are the two geniuses who picked the Cavs in how many games, Bill? We picked them in six, Terry. This was not a collaborative effort. This is we came up with this on it was our own. It's a civic pick on my part. Okay. Don't, once, one time, and now I'm being embarrassed. All right. So, basically, if this is going to happen, I do think they better win game two. They didn't last year. No, I know they did. They need seven games. Okay. But all right. Your Golden thing, State didn't have Kevin Durant last year. All right, I'll start with this, though, Bill. When you looked at the game, you know, there's a couple things going on, but you have a point that you think is so critical for them. If they're going to, things are going to change for them, what are one of the things they need to do? Stop the ball. That's good. Also make shots. Yeah. I have a column that's running now on Kyle Korver, whose job is to make three-point shots. He's six for 23 in his last six playoff games, including the Celtics. Is that good? That is not good. That's yeah. 26%. And he also has only been hot in the Toronto series. The, it, it seems too he, they used to use the meds where he'd move around, at least he'd create a lot of attention. Now he just kind of stands somewhere. The play I talked about, he was just standing, and then all of a sudden JR set a pick and he burst around it, and it was a neat three pointer. Play. Yeah. Uh, this is a very good defensive team. Yeah, they are. But you mentioned uh, somebody else that you would like to maybe some step on the court. You could make a three. Yes, I have mentioned a couple of times. I'm not entirely sure of what Channing Fry did to. <laughs> be in the world's largest doghouse or tallest doghouse, yeah. but I know they think he's a bad defensive matchup. But really, if Corver's not making shots, he's not a lockdown defender either. Well, you've got to look at they've got Corver, they got J.R. Smith, and they have Kevin Love, and they got to have somebody making some threes. Because did you notice how they really stacked the lane against LeBron? Yes, and you have to you have to have the threes going, and you know. We were talking before the video, Love got 21 rebounds. We like that part yeah. of Love's game a lot. The big three were, were blameless. They just got almost no help from anyone else scoring points. Although I would say they didn't. What did well, they LeBron not had do? eight turnovers and they also no one stopped the no ball. No one stopped the ball. This is like basketball 101. That's what he, you learn in CYO, kids. Well, Kevin Durant said, he just said, I think they're going to try to stop the ball a little more. That would be nice. You know, I understand they always say, well, you want to guard the three-point line. When a guy's six foot eleven, he's driving to the rim. And Bill, when he goes to dunk, what do you think his shooting percentage is? Well, LeBron did have an epic miss in one of these games. Right. I would say 99.8 or 9 percent of, of three of dunks go down, and no one, even Steph Curry, doesn't make 50 percent of three. No. So that's really. I, I'm curious to see will these guys. They keep talking about defend the land. Will they defend somebody? Let's see what kind of pride they have in terms of their defense, and let's see what kind of adjustments they make. I think this is also a game, Bill, where Tyron Lue is on the line in terms of can he get these guys rally and get them going. Well, he certainly did last year. He's got a lot of yes. goodwill from that. You know, Urban Meyer never liked defending the national championship. Not that Ohio State did, but he thought it led, he wanted to say repeat, because he thought it led to passivity. But we certainly saw passive defense in the first game, and he all right, make some threes, guard somebody, defend somebody, and maybe something will change on Sunday night. From the Bay Area. Bye. <laughs>